A big change to tell you about tonight, about to take place for American travelers heading towards security at the airport. For the first time since 9-11, the TSA is allowing some knives on board, an announcement greeted with confusion and outrage by flight attendants. ABC's David Curley has our story. The things people try to carry on a plane may boggle your mind. But tonight, after more than a decade of confiscating tens of millions of pocket knives, the TSA says it's time for a change. You can now carry a small knife on board. We know that these small little items are, are unlikely to be used again to uh, try and hijack an aircraft. In a month and a half, you'll be allowed to carry a folding knife if the blade is less than 2.36 inches long and a half inch wide. Golfers will be able to carry on two clubs, and hockey, lacrosse, and pool players can board with their sticks. Razor blades and box cutters, like those used by the hijackers on 9-11, will still be banned. Not every flight has an air marshal on board who is trained to deal with knife-wielding passengers, Drop the knife. Drop the knife. which is why the flight attendants are angry tonight, saying they and their passengers will now be at risk. Having knives on board is a horrible decision, and we're incredibly disappointed in the TSA for allowing weapons on board an aircraft. TSA says the change will allow officers to concentrate on more serious threats, explosives. They find some of those, everything from mortar rounds to fuses and guns. Every day, four guns are found at U.S. checkpoints, and on average, three of them are loaded. Diane, every month at each of our 20 biggest airports, they collect about 850 pounds of confiscated goods. About half of that, more than 400 pounds, are these small knives and other larger knives as well. They hope these changes will help these lines move a little quicker. Diane. All right, David Curley, thank you.